Hey everyone, as always, thanks for coming to check out today's video. For those of you who are subscribed to my channel, I apologize it's been so long since I made a video. So, just as a quick update to my last video, I had a company called Untethered Labs contact me. The company's out of, uh, they're based out of College Park, Maryland. So the product that they sent me is called a gatekeeper. And basically what this product is, it is a, it's a little device that you can either put on a keychain or a lanyard and it comes with a Bluetooth dongle that you plug into your computer. You download some software on it and it locks up your computer for you whenever you move away from your computer. So before I open this thing up and I show you what's inside and I show you the software and show you how well I think it works, I want to talk about the company for just a second. Uh, so far, all my interactions with them have been really positive. They have always been quick to respond to any of my emails. They've gotten several texts to help me on any of my questions, on some of the questions that I've had. And uh, so far, yeah, all my interactions with them have been very pleasant and uh, hopefully that means that they're going to have really good customer service. So I guess we'll see, but I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like. All right, here's the gatekeeper itself. I'm going to put a quarter down just for size comparison. So go ahead and pull the lid off of the box. And here's the gatekeeper. They have it placed on the side of a piece of foam. So I'm going to go ahead and move this to the side. Pop the gatekeeper out. Here you can see there's a button on the side, a battery cover on the back, and again the quarter just for size comparison. So I'll go ahead and put that back in here and take a look at what's in here. There's a lanyard. Obviously there is a Bluetooth USB dongle for it and the battery for it down here. So under that there's the instructions for it. Now the instructions say to go ahead and install the battery cover into the gatekeeper itself before you download the software. So I'm going to go ahead and pop off the battery cover and I'm going to install the battery. Now the first thing that I notice is that I don't get any kind of feedback once I've installed the battery so I don't know if it's good or not. Even if I press the button I don't get any, any type of feedback. So I'll go ahead and go to the website and download the software. Here's the website. I'll put a link up for the website down below. But at the top here you can see software and then download. I have a Windows computer so I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows setup file and this is just your standard download so I won't bore you with the instructions for this. Alright, once you have this downloaded, this is the program itself for the gatekeeper. At the top here you can see there's a signal strength indicator. And next you can see it will give you the battery level of the gatekeeper, the motion of it, and it will tell you the latency of the signal. Here's where you can update your credentials and here are your lock options. Now down here towards the middle you see that there's a bar here. This bar allows you to set the distance that the gatekeeper locks and unlocks the computer. Next you have your standard notifications and then under send feedback this is actually a cool part of this because it allows you to email untethered labs and tell them what you think. The rest of it is just your standard settings. And Down here at the bottom you have disable and quit. So if you ever want to stop using the gatekeeper itself. So now that you've seen the gatekeeper out of the box and you've seen the software, I'm going to show you just exactly what it does. And it's pretty simple. You take the gatekeeper and you walk away from your computer. And it locks up your computer for you. When you come back, you'll find it's set to the lock screen of your preference. I don't have a password on my computer, so all I have to do is come back and hit enter. And my computer is now unlocked. And that's pretty much what it does. Now, another lock option that you have, if you actually go back into the program under lock options and you click press gatekeeper button to lock the computer, you can actually just press the button on the side of the gatekeeper to lock your computer. Now, as most of you know, for Windows, you have two options to unlock your computer. You can have it where you don't have a password and you just simply come up and hit enter and you unlock it that way. Or you can set up a password and you have to enter in your password before Windows will unlock. Now if you install the Gatekeeper software and use this Gatekeeper device, it will actually give you the option to enter a PIN in instead of your password. Also though, it still allows you to use your password if that's how you want to unlock your computer. 
So I will go ahead and show you what that looks like right now. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back into the Gatekeeper software, click Update Credentials, and you're gonna enter in your Windows password. Now obviously I've had to set one up to make this work, but next you're gonna enter in your own PIN. Mine is gonna be one, two, three, four, but don't tell anyone. So next we'll click OK, your credentials have been updated. And all you're gonna do from there is you're gonna click log on using gatekeeper and PIM. And that's it, you're all set. All right, back at the lock screen, here's your standard login, you can enter in your password, but we're gonna click other credentials, click on gatekeeper, and then we're gonna enter in our PIM. And that's it, it unlocks the computer for us. And just in case any of you are out there wondering what happens if you pull the dongle out of the computer, I'll go ahead and do that now and show you what happens. You can see that the computer just locked up. It's now asking for the pin to the gatekeeper. Once you enter in the pin, it will ask you where the dongle is to proceed. Or you can click other credentials and you can log on using your password. So that's what happens if you pull the Bluetooth dongle out. Now, one of the other issues that you may run into is what happens if you lose the gatekeeper device itself. So what Untethered Labs has done is they've made an app that you can download onto your smartphone or your tablet or whatnot. And basically what it allows you to do is that if your gatekeeper is within Bluetooth range of your phone, it will actually allow you to locate your device. And you just simply press a button on the app and it will make your gatekeeper into this little charm. Also, there's two other options that you have to unlock your computer with the gatekeeper that I want to cover real quick. The first option is that you don't use the gatekeeper at all. You just come in and, like I showed you before, you just press enter or enter your password, but your computer isn't reliant on the gatekeeper to unlock it. There's another option where you can take the gatekeeper itself and you touch the USB Bluetooth dongle and that unlocks it. And uh, yeah, those are the other. So those are the other two options that you have to unlock your computer with the gatekeeper itself. Obviously, the one where you enter in a PIN or a password is the most secure. But it really just depends on your environment and how you want to use it. So that pretty much concludes how you use the gatekeeper. Now, as far as the why you would use the gatekeeper is really very is really depending on your situation. I don't do a lot of computer work outside of home other than video editing. And even at my day job, I wouldn't be allowed to bring it in there even though we have to lock our computers when we walk away from them. And it would make too much sense for IT folks for them to let us use it. Sorry guys, I had to get a little jab in there at you. But uh, my wife, however, she's a writer. Um, she writes in various things, but she likes to write in public places. So she is actually going to use this device because if she walks away from her computer she doesn't necessarily want people seeing what's on her computer screen and if like you know she's at a coffee shop which i know is a cliche but it's what she does we have kids and it's hard for her to get any quiet in the house so if she walks away from her computer it'll lock up it'll keep people from reading what she's working on and when she comes back she can unlock it she actually really likes the device so again it's just dependent on your situation on whether or not you want to use it. And one last piece for you IT security folks, just so you know, this is 256-bit uh, encryption. The encryption happens on the computer. The password is also stored on the computer. The gatekeeper itself has a location signal that's emitted from it to the dongle, and that's where everything happens is actually on the computer. So, that's it. That concludes my video today on the gatekeeper. I hope this was helpful. And uh, I, as always, come back and check out the next video. If you can like and subscribe to the video, I'd really appreciate it. And, oh, yeah, one other thing. So on my last couple videos, I got some uh, questions and comments about my, my husky here. And on the other videos, he was just a puppy because he's still actually only 10 months old. And in a matter of a few months, he's grown this big. So anyways, so this is Andrew again.
And uh, yeah, as always, thanks again for watching. And um, come check out the next video. Thanks.